Today I will introduce you to a very powerful online photo editing suite that you can use to either replace Photoshop or work on a Photoshop-like program in the cloud. This could be on your computer, your laptops and your Chromebooks. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, we've all been there. Let's say that you're creating a presentation on The Grinch. Now with Christmas coming up, we can get lots of images from The Grinch. So let's go ahead and pull up an image. Now we have an amazing image here drawn. Now, as you can see, the background is transparent, so we can use this easily to create some great looking graphics for our students. But let's say that your image is somewhat like the following image and there is no transparent background. Now all you're left to do is use an image editing software. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply save this image and we're going to leave it where it is. Now the software that I'm going to introduce you to is in the cloud, which means there is no need to install anything. You do not have to download anything and it works on all Chromebooks. And the name of this is Photopia. So let's go ahead and search for Photopia together. And once you've got it, you can simply click on the link. Now, as you can see from the title, Photopia allows you to edit Photoshop files. That means that if you are making that transition from a Windows computer or a computer with Photoshop and you are now on a Chromebook, let's say in an educational setting, you can still use your files. Now, once everything's loaded, you will see that this is a very familiar looking layout. Now, it's very similar to what you will be familiar with if you've used Photoshop or the likes before. Now, you can start a new project. You can open from the computer or you can open up a demo file. Now, because we've just downloaded this JPEG image, we're going to open from the computer. Now, this is going to allow us to search for this image. Now, the name is Grinch1JPEG and I'm going to open this file. And here it is. This is my image. Now, as you can see, I am not signed in, but you can sign up for an account and then this will sync your settings. This will sync libraries and other things to your account. You can easily sign up by clicking on the account button and registering an account. Now, I want to get rid of this background. And the way we would do that in Photoshop is we would simply use a magic wand and get rid of it. Well, in Photopia, we can do the same thing. We'll select a magic wand. Let's say that we'll set a very high tolerance of 40. And then we will simply select the background and delete it out. We now have a new image with a transparent background. Now, this is just one of the many, many features available in Photopia. As you can see, you have access to paths. You have a pen. You have all your tools that you are familiar with. You have your sharpen tools, smudge tools, blur tools. You've got gradients. You even have a stamp and clone tool. Now, when I have a quick look at the image options, you have some adjustments, transform, there's different layers. You've got vector masks and raster masks. And then under filter, which is something that a lot of us are very familiar with when we've used Photoshop before, we have all your standard filters. Now, as you can see, this is slightly more limited than Photoshop. But number one, it is free, two, it is cloud-based, and three, it does not require a single download. It works right off the bat on any computer. Now, this is Photopia. Once you've created your file, you can click on File and Export. So let's say I want to export this as a PNG file. I can click on that, save it as a PNG file, and then once I open this, I have my file with a transparent background. Here we go. I hope you found this video helpful and that it answers some of your questions. If it did, don't forget to give this video a like. There is also a subscribe button and when you subscribe and want to be notified of all the newest videos, don't forget to hit the bell icon. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching.